Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron with Aaron Fixes Stuff. Today's project will be building a multi-tiered plant stand. I started by cutting 12 10 inch pieces of a 1x3. Each tabletop will be using four of those pieces. I then sanded the sides in order to rough up the surfaces to help with adhesion. Next I glued four pieces together and repeated the process three times to make three platforms. and then clamp them in order to make sure they stayed secured. I ran it through the table saw to make sure that the pieces were at identical lengths. This can also be done with a circular saw or even sandpaper if you don't have access to one. Next I sanded the surfaces in order to get rid of any glue residue and to make sure that we had a smooth surface and I repeated this for all three of the tabletops. Finally, I routed all of the edges to round them up a bit. If you don't own a router, you can also do this with sandpaper. The reason I cut 10 inch pieces is that each one by three is actually two and a half inches wide. So four pieces together puts us at 10 inches wide and therefore I cut them at 10 inches long giving us a square tabletop. With the top portions completed, I then started cutting the legs. Over here I cut a 2x2 two two, four times into 36 inch pieces. I then cut two 24 inch pieces and two 12 inch pieces. Alright, it's time for some math. So I measured the width of the 2x2s two and got 2 and 3 quarters. We need the total width of the table to be 10 inches, so I then cut four seven and a quarter inch pieces, giving us a total of 10 inches. I then drilled two pocket hole joints into the short pieces and repeated that process with all of them. I highly recommend this jig made by Craig, really makes the job a lot easier. Next I secured the two pieces of wood using a screw and wood glue. I used a clamp to make sure that the two pieces did not move while I secured them. With this half completed, I started working on the second half and just repeated the same process again.
I switched over to this clamp because I noticed that it had better grip and it was easier to work with. Here I am joining the two halves creating the tall portion of the plant stand. I use the clamps to secure the two halves together. I was unable to use power tools because of the limited mobility, so I just used a socket wrench to do. I'm now working on the medium height portion of this stand. This one is going to be 24 inches high. And once again, the process is going to be almost identical. If you recall, we only cut two 24 inch pieces earlier. The reason for this is that this part will connect to the 36 inch legs. If this seems confusing, it will be clear in a minute when I secure the two parts. Note, the two longer pieces should be 8 inches and 5 eighths, and those are the pieces that will attach to the 36 inch leg as seen in the picture here. I'm now working on the last portion of the stand. This one is shortest in height at 12 inches high. The process on this one is identical to the 24 inch portion that we just completed. Here as well, we're only gonna have two 12 inch legs. This is what the final result will look like with the table tops on it. The last part is to secure the 12 inch piece to the 36 inch legs. Once again, using the same process.
Finding the screw head in the pocket joint can be a little bit tricky. So here is me struggling for your entertainment. I noticed that I forgot to attach the last pieces onto the short frames. So I just did this after the fact, repeating the same process again. I initially debated if I should paint this or not and ended up choosing to leave the natural colors and not paint or stain the wood. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below with any questions or feedback. I do appreciate your time. I would also appreciate if you'd consider giving me a thumbs up or even subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time and have a good day.